hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is moj famba and all i do is i sit down on my floor these days and i talk to you guys this channel is uh, meant to be an informative channel about careers money and becoming our best selves as i'm also on my journey of becoming my best self and i'm just taking everyone with me through this channel now that aside if you are a returning subscriber i am very thankful for you thank you for stopping by now you guys know how things have gone up in this country not just our tjs i mean we can't keep talking about things going up in our tjs because things have just been going up it's crazy but i mean the way things have gone up in us dollars we used to think that because things are in us dollars they don't like the prices will not be rising but unfortunately they are so i did a video around last year i think in october where i was talking about what is the cost of living for anyone who wants to stay in zim or to move out basically because my agents are mainly students and people who are not yet established so um i did a video of how much it would cost you to live alone in harare but i realized now that when i was watching it um in hindsight that that video is very misleading so i thought i should do a new video of an updated cost of living in harare if you're single so um the first thing if that is anything that is interesting to you please stay on but if not then you can move on and check out the catalog of the videos that i've done of uh, other things that you might like The first cost, which is the biggest cost in staying alone, would be your rent. Now, um, I haven't moved from where I was staying from the last time I did that video. So, this is just a price increase. And I've seen it happening with um, a lot of places, actually. So, remember the time I said the room is 20 to $25? No, 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 not anymore my rent went up i think my rent was like 50 60 my rent went up and now my rent is 90 dollars actually i haven't moved from the place that i was staying but rent just went up so this is just rent then there is water and bills and electricity i'm watching too much movies uh we talk about bills and rates yeah so my contribution towards that as i said we my contribution it's not like the full amount but my contribution uh towards that is between 15 to 20 bucks so which means my rent in any given month is somewhere between 105 and 110 so um, uh that's it on the rent and water then we're going to move to the next thing being groceries now groceries are funny depends on where you shop i uh usually show up in the okay the pick and pays that's where i shop um mainly because i cannot do the stress and the hassle of downtown guys i did it two months ago and i did a lot of saving actually because i think my zoe that i bought still downtown i still have it but the hassle like there's no parking over there then there's the issues with change and then you're just walking uh so okay just seems convenient for me and it's really like close so um, yeah even on my way from work i just stop by and buy whatever i need so this grocery cost for me including things that are like more of on a daily basis like your tomatoes onions your bread i now spend safely 100 bucks a month just me that's just the just me cost my cost for groceries is a hundred dollars so now we are on a fair amount 210 
and then we move on to fuel so before i quit my job i was more of a stay at home worker i was working from home before i quit my job if you don't know i recently started a new job you can check out the video so before then i used to be a person who stays at home and works from their bedroom uh, but now i go to work every day and because i go to work every day that means i need fuel but my car thank god is a, is a fuel server so i use i would say 80 liters 80 liters at dollar 25 that's more like a hundred bucks i would think 100 bucks on fuel and that takes me throughout the month why i think for other people it could be higher or lower depending but i only stay something like 13 k from my house from from my workplace and if i actually like if there's no traffic i actually take like 15 minutes to get to work so um, it's really close for me so um, that work going to work and weekends i usually spend 100 bucks on fuel because if i put in um a 20 dollar coupon it takes me throughout the week and the weekend and then i get a new coupon on monday yes and then there are other issues like weekend guys remember that time i said because i like to take care of myself 50 bucks is enough for all my weekends I don't know whether it's cause my appetite for going out went up like and i'll go out every weekend depending like it's not the same thing different i do different things every weekend but they are the same does that make sense now that i think of it but like what i'm saying is i don't know what whether i changed or things went up but nowadays even if you're paying for yourself for some things like buying your own drinks and food or just also contributing if you got if you're like doing things with friends just pulling in your own fair share i would say uh a weekend is 25 bucks enough for a weekend i would say it's a safe budget since i would have the fuel and this 25 bucks is just going on doing things whether you're going to the rainbow amusement park whether you're going to bry uh so like your weekend is like your friday evening your saturday evening and your sunday um yeah 25 bucks could be enough also i walk around with bingers so <laughs> i will be like taken care of so that's 25 bucks every weekend and if you go out every weekend so that takes me to about a hundred dollars for weekends and then there are other things that are miscellaneous is that how you pronounce the word okay whatever the other things like your hair um yeah i'm not going to include other non one other ones of course like your service for your car your shocks um or buying big things buying a phone buying whatever i'm not going to include that i'm just looking at the routine cost so like there's cost for your hair so for my hair i usually spend like if i get braids braids are usually 15 bucks but i saw someone along the street up there who charges eight bucks I, I i used to get those things done for like 15 bucks so i got someone to do them for eight bucks i'm going to get my hair done sometime soon but like if i put in braids i think it takes me about three weeks so you could put in your hair at about um i would say your hair and other things that just come up that are routine and non-routine sort of um you could put in like a 50 bucks so that's my total living experiences um and the total comes to one ten plus hundred plus hundred plus hundred uh plus fifty so that's like four hundred and sixty bucks if you guys were not um taking notes so now if you need to move out i believe in having an emergency fund that can sustain you for at least a month it's recommended that you have one month at least in money that you can spend one month out but zim being zim you do what works for you 
and yeah you manage your course for example if 460 is a lot for you you can just do like your rent reduced meat jana your groceries you're no longer buying the meat every day and on your transport you know you could use combi as well um and then on weekends i only i only said weekends because like that's the only description that i could give it but it doesn't have to be weekend like sometimes you just feel like you want pizza and it's a tuesday or it's a wednesday or whatever and sometimes you just feel like you want um chicken in or you just want to sit down at um queen of hearts for sushi or whatever or it's your real for sushi i like a lot of those things so i just allocate myself 25 bucks per week but that's really like a lie because i tend to spend more but I would say i would be comfortable with like a 25 bucks so guys thank you so much for stopping by that was the rest of the video uh, i hope it helps you if you're deciding to move out or to just gauge on how much you spend let me know do you spend more or do you spend less than that and i had to do this video now before lifestyle inflation hits me because i am pretty confident that lifestyle is going to hit me and it has hit some of my friends so <laughs> i know it's going to come and hit me too and it's going to increase but well who, who cares we learn so that we'll be able to earn and we'll be able to be exposed to other worlds and yeah thank you so much guys for stopping by bye